I mean, the remit really is to look at the impact of the disease on people's ability to carry out daily life activities. And daily life activities is quite a broad descriptor, so it could be um, you know, difficulties in doing essential activities of daily living, like washing or dressing or grooming or, or, or those sorts of quite intimate tasks through to you know, food preparation, through to doing you know, domestic tasks in the house, through to managing at work. A lot of people with MS have had it for a lot of years. They're far more knowledgeable and ex about their condition than, than you will be, and so I think you know it would be thoroughly inappropriate to come on, come along, and say, "I think you should do this. I think you should do that. I think you should do that." I think any any change that has to be um, enacted for somebody with a long term condition has to be negotiable. Yeah, that's about sort of listening. It's about negotiating what can be changed and um, and providing education and allowing people to review and evaluate. As much as anything, I think the role of an OT in work is, is really to work alongside the person who's in work as much as anything. I mean, um, you know, particularly those people who are in work that, that have some symptoms that are affecting their ability to be as effective or, or have concerns that you know, perhaps they can, re you know, retain their work. Um, really, you're not coming in as some kind of you know, external person knocking heads together and saying, you should do this, you must do this. You would hope that there is a will in there for people to carry on as they are anyway. And that's where an OT can come in is perhaps uh, just educating people about, you know, resources that are available to them. Um, perhaps possibly also just educate them about, about their rights as employees as well. Uh, and also, um, if necessary, to, to sit down with employers, employees, and, and look at strategies that um, can support their successful management. The coordination of, of, um, of resources for people um, to return to work or remain in work could be better coordinated, I think, and that's between sort of the, you know, the, the DWP type of resources and healthcare resources and social care resources and so forth. And I think um, in some respects, the the role is as useful as anything is, is to make sure people are aware of these and, and bring them together if necessary and, and make people aware of the, of the links.